Yo, what is up everyone? Z Karma here, back with another Cyberpunk video. In this one, I'll be doing a full breakdown of the Intelligence Attribute Tree. I'll be going over every single perk in this tree, and I'll be showing you exactly how each of these perks work. So if you find this video informative or helpful in any way, feel free to drop a like, and if you want to subscribe, you can do so as well. Starting off with Optimization. You get an increase of 35% to your recovery rate. Before I choose it, I want to check my stats. You can see I have 16% RAM recovery rate in combat. A 35% increase to this would be around to 21 to 22%. So when I add the perk and check the stats, you can see that is increased now. And I did test it and there is definitely an increase to the recovery rate. Next, we have proximate propagation. It reduces the RAM cost the closer you are to the target. Maximum is minus 35%. So I'm going to give an example right now. As you can see, I'm scanning these people and you see the costs. As I get closer to them, you'll notice that the ones that cost the most will start getting lower first because obviously reductions or increases in percentages are more obvious in the ones that cost the most. So you'll see that. Let's activate the perk. You can see if I get closer, not, no reduction yet. No reduction yet. No reduction yet. Reduction yet. There you go. So you, you get an idea. Now we finally got cyber psychosis to go down with one. So you have to be about this close to start getting an actual reduction. A bit more. See the other ones are starting to go down. Now the last two are going to be right here. And that's it. Next we have encryption, which reduces the traceability for all quick hacks by 30%. So basically when you quick hack an enemy with a quick hack that's traceable, a uh, tracing progress bar will begin. It starts at 0%, goes to 100%. Once it gets to 100%, enemies detect you. Every time you upload a quick hack while that bar is going on, it increases your traceability and you can actually check while you're trying to hack someone. It shows you how much it's going to increase by if you use it. Well, this simply makes it so that it's less. Next, we have subordination, which makes control quick hacks last twice as long when applied to enemies at full health. And this works really well with perks like Embedded Exploit and Ice Pick, which both provide benefits for having enemies affected by control quick hacks. Next, we have Embedded Exploit. At level 1, it will increase your RAM recovery rate by 10%. And at level 2, it increases your quick hack damage by 60% against enemies affected by control quick hacks, covert quick hacks, or distract the enemy's quick hack. So I actually made a full breakdown of this perk in a separate video. This was a very long video, so I'm not going to be able to cover everything and show everything off, but just the quick rundown of it. Distract the enemy's quick hack will not work for embedded exploits, so don't expect to get a damage increase from those. And you can actually stack this. You can get that 60% bonus twice by applying a control and a covert quick hack. But there's one exception, Sonic Shock. Sonic Shock is a covert quick hack. However, for the purpose of this perk, it's considered a control. So by looking at this list on screen, you can apply any of the left and any of the right, and they will stack giving you that 60% twice. If you apply two of this on the same side of the screen, you'll only get one. So as long as you have at least one from each side, you'll get that 60% twice. If you guys want to watch a more detailed explanation on this, you can check my video on embedded exploit on my channel. Next, we have System Overwhelm. You get plus 7% quick hack damage for each unique quick hack and dot effect affecting the target. The bonus you get from this one works similar as Embedded Exploit. You'll only get the bonus for one covert, one control, and then the dot effects, it doesn't matter. If you have three dot effects on the enemy caused by quick hacks, you'll get all three bonuses. However, it's really hard to have three different dot effects on an enemy because they're going to basically die pretty quickly if you apply like overheat and contagion. Next, we have Ice Pick. It says minus one RAM cost for combat quick hacks used on enemies affected by or targeted by control quick hacks, covert quick hacks, or distract the enemy's quick hack. And this definitely works. Your RAM cost for combat quick hacks will be reduced by one. And for anyone wondering, this does not stack. You cannot apply multiple effects to try and get more of a reduction. Then we have Shadow Runner, minus 100% trace progress after performing a takedown. And this definitely works super simple. While you're being traced to that percentage bar, you can take down an enemy and it will reset to 0%. So 
but it will still keep going. It won't stop the tracing. It'll just reset it to 0%. Next, we have Siphon. It says Manowar attacks recover 0.5 rem and increases to 1 if the enemy is affected by or targeted by a quick hack. I already tested this and it definitely works. A few things to note. If an enemy has a quick hack currently uploading, that also counts as being affected. So you will get that bonus. Using ping and marking everyone won't give you that extra RAM on enemies marked, only on an enemy you use ping on. And the rest will just give you 0.5. Stacking quick hacks on an enemy won't give you more RAM per attack. And lastly, if you hit multiple enemies per swing, you only get the bonus from the first enemy you hit. That's kind of sad, but that's just how it is. It's just per attack. Next, we have speculation. Neutralizing an enemy with the combat quick hack recovers RAM equal to 25% of the total cost of all quick hacks affecting the target. And this one works a little bit weird. So let me explain. This perk will work only if you're using quick hack cues. We'll get to that in a second, but quick hack cues are on this side of the screen. And the way this works is that it will give you the 25% refund on all applied with a Q except for the last one. If I do a two quick hack Q, like two in the Q, and in the first one I use reboot optics, and in the second one I use crippled movement, and I affect the enemy. When I use a combat quick hack to kill that enemy, it'll only give me 25% of the first quick hack I uploaded, not the last one, because it was the second one. If I had a Q of four, for example, if I upload Reboot Optics, Crippled Movement, and Cyber Psychosis, and then something else, I will get the refund for the first three, but not for the fourth. So there's one of two things you can do. You can either create a queue and then use a combat quick hack after those are uploaded and get a 25% refund for all but the last quick hack in the queue, or you can add the combat quick hack as the final quick hack in the queue and you will get a refund for the ones that came before it so moving on we have overclock at level one you get another increase to your ram recovery rate and increase to your quick hack damage and at level three is what we're looking at here it unlocks overclock mode if you have a cyber deck installed you can press e and you can use quick hacks even with insufficient ram but each RAM unit over your max is going to cost you 10 health instead. Obviously, increasing your health, your health regeneration, all that stuff is going to help you with utilizing this to its max potential. We also have sublimation. It says when overclock is active, all RAM recovery also affects regenerate health, which is pretty cool. So any RAM recovery you have, it'll also increase your health regeneration. We also have Power Surge. It says activating overclock instantly restores health equal to five times your max RAM. So in this example, my health is 155. My max RAM is 25. If I activate overclock, my health should go up by 125 points. And that's what happens when I activate it. Moving on, we have Race Against Mind. When overclock is active, increased quick hack damage as health decreases. Health is measured when you begin upload. And this also works. So keep in mind, this is going to be based off of your health when you begin upload and your health is going to be all over the place when you're using recovery rate and all that stuff. But I did test this and the lower my health was, the more damage I was doing. Then we have spillover. This one, when overclock is active, there's a 50% chance for quick hacks to spread to an additional target. So I tested this with every quick hack. Every quick hack was spreading except for the covert quick hacks aside from Sonic Shock. So the only covert quick hack that is going to spread will be Sonic Shock. Moving on, we're going to go over to the right of this tree and we have smart weapon perks. For this first one, acquisition specialist. At level 1, the targeting reticle for smart weapons increases by 10%. At level 2, reloading smart weapons no longer interrupts target lock. Normally, when you have a target lock on someone and you reload, it resets it, and when you finish reloading, it goes for that lock again. In this case, if you reload, it'll still be locked onto the target. We also have no escape. When you lock onto enemies and then look away, or they get behind cover, 
the lock will wear off within a couple of seconds. But as long as you keep shooting the enemy, the lock will remain on the enemy. Next, we have this perk right here. You get an increase of 2% to your accuracy with smart weapons for each unit in your Cyberdex Max Ram. And honestly, this one is really hard to test. Uh, you would need to do thousands and thousands of shots to see if this is actually working. So honestly, I cannot conclusively say that it works, but who cares? Because you do need this to get this perk over here, which is, I would say, a pretty good perk to use on your smart weapon, especially if you're combining it with Quick Axe called recirculation it says you get plus two ram after neutralizing an enemy with the smart weapon which is great you get two ram but the cool thing is what comes next if the enemy is affected by quick axe restores additional ram equal to 50 percent of their total ram cost and this works kind of like this speculation perk over here that we mentioned earlier it only works with quick hack cues and just like the other perk that refund does not include the cost of the final quick hack uploaded so in this example on screen, I am using a four quick hack queue. We upload tier four memory wipe first. It costs 10 RAM. Then a tier four reboots optics. It costs seven RAMs. Then a tier two sonic shock at three RAM and the final tier two cyber malfunction at three RAM. When I kill the enemy, I get the two refunded for getting a kill with the smart weapon. And then I get 10 more. That is 50% refund for my quick hacks not including the final one in the queue. I will actually be making a separate video on this, giving way more examples. If you want to watch that, stay tuned and it'll be uploaded in the near future. Moving on, we have target lock transfer. At level one, it further increases my reticle size for smart weapons. And at level two, switching from aiming to hip fire does not disengage target lock on headshots and weak spots. Now, as you're able to tell, if you didn't guess already, whenever you are locked into a headshot when you ADS, if you go on hip fire mode, it will disengage those locks to those weak points. However, with this perk unlocked at level 2, that will not happen anymore. At level 3, switching from one smart weapon to another no longer interrupts target lock. So, this is pretty cool. You can use different smart weapons if you want to run it like that, and you won't remove those target locks. Then we have terminal velocity. Increase projectile velocity and lock on range for 10 seconds after neutralizing an enemy with the smart weapon and this is going to stack three times. New stacks will reset the duration and all stacks are removed when duration ends. Quick example from this distance I'm not able to lock on with hipfire. As soon as I get a kill with my smart weapon I get one stack of terminal velocity and now I'm able to lock on from this distance. If I get another kill before the 10 second runs out. I get two stacks, which gives me even more range and faster projectile velocity. So yeah, if you keep getting kills and have three stacks the whole time, it'll never go away. Next, we have targeting prism. It enables multiple target locks when aiming and increases the number of simultaneous targets for all smart weapons by one. So for example, with this weapon, my hip fire locks on to three enemies at max. And if I ADS, it only locks on to one. When I activate the perk, it now locks on with hip fire to four enemies at a time and when i ads it will lock on to two and at the very top we have smart synergy while overclock is active smart weapons have instant target lock and plus 25 percent damage if the enemy is affected by a quick hack i tested this and this only works with control and covert quick hacks so just keep that in mind it doesn't work with ultimate or combat quick hacks and just so you know Again, you can actually stack this as well. You can stack it twice as long as you have one of each type. So if an enemy is affected by both a covert and a control quick hack, you get the 25% extra damage applied twice. Just like that perk at the very beginning called embedded exploit. That's how it works. Next, we have eyes in the sky, which automatically highlights nearby access points and cameras. And when uploaded through cameras, control quick hacks and covert quick hacks have a minus one RAM cost and a plus 50% duration. And this does work. And we have this perk over here, which uh, according to me, it does not work. I tested almost every device I could. I might have missed a couple of devices, but in my opinion, it should work with every single type of explosive device. 
So from my testing, at least it does not work. I think I tested it on turrets. I exploded one of those red tanks. I exploded like a microwave looking thing and none of them gave me an increase when using this perk. We also have four skill cipher. It reduces sequence length required to hack access points by one. Definitely recommend this one. And we also have hack queue. It increases your max RAM by one and it unlocks quick hack queues, allowing two quick hacks on a single enemy. And of course, quick hacks will be uploaded in the order they are applied. And also the second quick hack in the queue will have an increase of 30% to their upload speed. We also have feedback loop. It increases your RAM recovery rate by 25% for each quick hack currently in a queue. And keep in mind, this only counts quick hacks that are currently in queue, not the ones currently uploading. So if you plan on consistently having queues on enemies, this can help. We also have data recycler. After neutralizing an enemy, recover 80% of the RAM cost from all quick hacks remaining in their queue. So this one does work, but there is a catch. It will refund all but the one currently uploading. Say for example, I have a queue of two. My first one is Synapse Burnout and my second is Reboot Optics. Synapse Burnout will neutralize the enemy, but after it kills the enemy, Reboot Optics is already technically uploading and no longer in the queue. So I will not get any refund. Now, if I had three quick hacks in the queue, and again, Synapse Burnout kills the enemy, I will get a refund for the third quick hack in the queue, not for the second, because the second one is already technically uploading. And if I have four, for example, and once again, Synapse Burnout gets the kill, I would get an 80% refund for the third and the fourth in the queue. So just keep that in mind while using this perk. You can also technically upload a queue of four if you like and shoot the enemy before the first one finishes uploading and you will get a refund for the next three that are in the queue. Additionally, the 80% refund you get from this perk is the cost before any reductions. So if you have RAM reduction perks anywhere like this one or anything else, this refund is based on the full cost of it. Unlike these other refund perks, these are based on the cost after reduction. Uh, not this one. This one is based off of the actual cost, the full cost. So if you think about it, if you build around this, you can get more RAM back than what you're actually using, which is pretty neat. Next, we have counter hack, which simple. Whenever you're being targeted by an enemy netrunner, you can actually quick hack them back through walls and obstacles. And there is a minus one RAM cost for doing that. And there is also this other perk, which I definitely recommend called copy paste. When you're the target of an enemy netrunner, using a quick hack against them will also spread the quick hacks effects to their allies. Next, we have Q acceleration, which once more gives me an extra RAM at level two, one RAM cost reduction to quick hack devices and vehicles, and at level three, plus one quick hack Q size. And it also gives me a 60% upload speed for quick hacks in the third or later Q. We also have the finisher for mono wire, which is pretty cool. When an enemy health is low, just press F. You get 15% health and five RAM back every time you do that. And the more quick hacks that are queued on an enemy, the more susceptible they are to being finished. Then we have this one, Q prioritization, plus 50% upload speed for the first quick hack when you have at least two quick hacks queued on an enemy. And honestly, this one did not work. Uh, most quick hacks have maximum a three second upload time. And I tested one of the three second ones and the upload time was always around 30 seconds. Doesn't matter what I did, queues, no queues, didn't matter. Next we have this one, Q hack underscore root, minus one RAM cost for the first quick hack of each unique category that is second or later in the queue. So there is four different categories of quick hacks. You got combat, control, covert, and ultimate quick hacks. So during the queue for the second or later, the first one of each unique category. So you can have as your second, third, and fourth in the queue, you can have control, a covert, and a combat, and you'll get minus one RAM for each. Or if you have control, control, combat, you'll only get the reduction for the first control one and for the combat. And we have blood demon. When overclock is active, you get plus 40 health for each quick hack queued on an enemy at the time you neutralize them. And again, like previous perks, Quick hacks that are currently uploading are not considered in the queue. 
So as you see in this example, I do a Q of four quick hacks. I kill the enemy with the first one and I only get 80 health. The reason, even though there's three left, that second one is already uploading, so technically not in the queue. So I'm only getting 40 health for the other two that are still in queue. You can also technically queue four quick hacks on an enemy, kill the enemy with the weapon before the first one is uploading, and you'll get that health increase from the second, third, and fourth because they're still in queue. And finally, on this tree, we have queue mastery. Once again, you increase your quick hack queue by one. And the last quick hack to fill a queue has a minus 50% ramp cost and locks the queue until all quick hacks have uploaded. And there's also a plus 50% damage against enemies with a locked queue. And these uploads actually go by pretty fast. So take advantage of that and add some combat quick hacks in there so you can get that 15% extra damage. And that is basically all I wanted to cover in this video. If you all find this video informative or helpful in any way, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to subscribe for more content, you can do so as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.